In this subtopic, you are going to learn how to solve trigonometric equations. We are going to concentrate on three types of equations. The first type of equations is basic trigonometric equations, sine of x equal to k, cosine of x equal to k, and tangent of x equal to k. To solve these equations, we have to follow a few steps, in order to get all the solutions in the given interval. First, we have to determine the quadrant in which the trigonometric ratio is located. Second, find the reference angle. Third, look at the interval of solutions. And finally read the value of all the angles. The second type of equations is trigonometric equations in quadratic form. A sine squared of x plus b cosine squared of x equal to c. A cosine squared of x plus b sine of x plus c equals zero. To solve these equations, first we have to convert all the trigonometric ratio into the same ratio. Usually, we are going to use trigonometric identities. The next step is, solving the quadratic equations. Finally, we have to solve the basic equations. The third type of equations is, trigonometric equations in form, a sine of x plus or minus b cosine of x equal to c. There are two methods to solve it. The first method is by using substitution, t equal to tangent of x over 2. I'm not going to elaborate this method. We're going to look at it in another video. The second method of solving the third type of equation is by converting a sine of x plus or minus b cosine of x2, our sine of x plus or minus alpha, or a cosine of x plus or minus alpha. I'm not going to elaborate this. Don't worry. We're going to see it in another video. Now, I'm going to show you two examples on how to solve basic trigonometric equations. Suppose we wish to solve the equation tangent of theta plus 1 equal to 0. For all values of theta, lying in the interval from 0 to 360 degrees. To solve the equation, first we have to isolate tangent of theta, by subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation. Here we have tangent of theta equal to negative 1. To solve this, first we have to determine the quadrants of negative tangent. Remember this diagram? All trigonometric ratios are positive in the first quadrant, only sine is positive in the second quadrant, meaning that cosine and tangent are negative in the second quadrant, only tangent is positive in the third quadrant, and only cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. Because tangent is negative, this means theta is located in the second and the fourth quadrants. Second step, we have to find the reference angle. Here I denoted it as alpha. Alpha is equal to the inverse of tangent of 1 or arctangent of 1. Reference angle is the acute angle closest to the x-axis. That's why when finding alpha, don't include the negative sign in the inverse trigonometric function. So, alpha is equal to 45 degrees. You can use a calculator to find the value if you didn't memorize the trigonometric ratios of special angles. Third step, the interval of solutions. From the question, it is given that theta is from 0 to 360 degrees. We don't have to change it because from the equation, we want to solve for theta. This means we are going to read the angle counterclockwise, in one complete round. The angles are in the second and fourth quadrants, with the reference angle 45 degrees. Fourth step. We are going to read the value of the angles. The first theta is 180 minus 45 degrees, which is equal to 135 degrees. The second theta is 360 minus 45 degrees, which is equal to 315 degrees. Finally, we conclude the answers. There are two solutions for the equation. In this second example, we want to solve the trigonometric equation secant of 2 theta equal to 2 for theta between 0 to 360 degrees. To solve the equation, simply turn it into an equation involving the more familiar function, cosine. Secant of 2 theta is equal to 1 over cosine of 2 theta. 
Rearrange the equation. We have cosine of 2 theta equal to 1 over 2. Cosine positive is in the first and fourth quadrants. The reference angle is arc cosine of 1 over 2, which is equal to 60 degrees. The interval given is theta from 0 to 360 degrees. But from the equation, we want to solve for 2 theta. So, we have to find the interval for 2 theta by multiplying the inequalities by 2. This indicates us to read the angles counterclockwise in two complete rounds. Two angles in the first quadrant and another two in the fourth quadrant. Remember, we are solving for 2 theta. 2 theta sub 1 is 60 degrees, 2 theta sub 2 is the angle with the same terminal side, one full rotation plus the reference angle, or 2 theta sub 1 plus 360 degrees, which is equal to 420 degrees. 2 theta sub 3 is 360 minus 60 degrees, which is 300 degrees. For 2 theta sub 4, we have to add one full rotation, that is, 2 theta sub 3 plus 360 degrees, which is equal to 660 degrees. Don't forget to divide all the angles by 2, because finally we want to solve for theta. So, all together, we have four solutions for theta.